And we're back. It's a toy kind of mood, episode 28. And I say that with Roman numerals because it's May the 4th, Star Wars holiday. And who better than Obi-Wan Escudero? What's up, Jonathan? How you doing, man? Hello there. <laughs> ah, I love it. Uh, this is Travis Moody, of course. And John, tell us about yourself uh, when it comes to like Star Wars. How are you celebrating the day? Ooh, I'm just I'm just all Star Wars out. I got the Bad Batch. I watched the Bad Batch. I got that got me in the mood for Revenge of the Sith. I'm gonna jump into that. Might finish off the day with some Clone Wars, and of course, uh, resetting up my action figures since I just moved from house to house. All you toy collectors know how the pain in the pain in the behind that is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and these things are about to move over too because we're adding some more details. Now that I got a new uh, friend moving in with a lot more toys than I do, so it should be oh. very. Should be very oh. interesting. Um, Bad Batch. We both watched it. Uh, let's let's talk about it. We're going to talk about toys, but hey, if I could do the Geekdom Games cast and not talk about video games, <laughs> talk about video game movies, Mortal Kombat, we can certainly talk about the animated series today on Disney Plus, The Bad Batch. John, just your initial impressions. No spoilers, though, for people who haven't watched us. So don't worry, no spoilers, but just kind of off the cuff thoughts. So initially, I was worried about the Bad Bats because it wasn't going to be done by Dave Filoni and the people who did Clone Wars. It's like the same team, but without the captain. So I was like, ah, oh, you guys did Star Wars Resistance, and I was not feeling that. So I was a little worried. But this first episode knocked it out of the park. It felt like Clone Wars Season 8. We were like right back into it. It's great. I highly recommend it. Bro, no lies. It was really good. Just right away. It just captures the moment. It's a war. I'm not gonna, you know, get into too many spoilers, but a lot of a lot of familiar faces and uh, a lot of these suckers everywhere. Yeah. So a lot of a lot of fun. And you know what was cool? No like cheesy like cameos. This was about the bad batch. Like we'll I'm sure we'll see a lot of people down the line, a lot of Jedi, a lot of this, but it wasn't like they were trying to sell it by throwing like say, all right, here's Darth Vader or whoever. You know what I mean? It was yeah, like, yep. Yep. This is about this group, and I love this ragtag group. A lot of military expendables, kind of everyone has a zany personality, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of conflict even within. So the inner circle, so, <laughs> uh, pretty cool overall. The animation's great, music's top notch. It, it really picks up right from the Clone Wars, literally. So, like you said, I think it's Dave Filoni. You know, he still has his hand in this thing. There's just 100. Yeah, percent Yeah, so he might not be exactly the writer director but you know you can feel it you can feel it when you watch this it's so seeped in lore just the way clone wars does it's it's perfect yep and there's a lot of bad batch stuff today revealed but before we get into the hasbro fan first tuesday and friday congrats to me um but there was a lot of things look we're, what we mostly cover is the six inch line sometimes we cover the three and three fourths and this goes across all toy brands. We're very heavy with Hasbro. It's our audience. It's what we do. I wanted to put that misnomer there because there was a ton of stuff. Today's May the 4th. There's stuff on Hot Topic. There's merch. There's statues. There's Hot Toys, Sideshow Collectibles, Gentle Giant. I mean, Diamond Collectibles. There's high intensity toys like the $500 Mandalorian with Blurg and, you know, some of this stuff you'll see on the screen. But what we, what we really analyze at the end of the day are the affordable, more affordable, the stuff you can get at Walmart or Target. Oh, maybe not if it goes with the, <laughs> if the bots and scalpers get to it first. But before we get to the Hasbro thing, talk a little Funko. First, I'm going to ask you, John, are you, do you mess with, do you F with Funko? <laughs> I've never been the biggest Funko guy. That being said, I absolutely respect the uh, Funko Pop. They, they get everybody in that mofo. It, they get so many crazy licenses that I can never blame someone for collecting the thing of their favorite movie that might never get an action figure line. You know, so yeah. I absolutely understand the appeal. It's just never been my deal. I'm more into the um, <clears throat> the detailed stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you save a lot of money not being involved in, in Funko. And uh, every week, I swear, ask any of my friends. I'm like, I'm all Funkoed out. I'm done. I have too many. <laughs> That's bullshit. Because every week I'm buying at least like at least two, and then today probably five so i got, <laughs> got the common way they hit of course of all places they hit target this morning and but what's great is if you were awake 
at like 6 a.m. or 5.30, whatever. I don't know how I was. But Target had a 20% off sale. So you were able to kind of score these. I was like, it was like one of those why not things. And the problem is I keep saying why not a lot. So <laughs> it's like, but, hey, I was able to get Tech Hunter, Crosshair, Echo, and Wrecker for seven bucks each. So all Ooh, five for 35. So perfect. Yeah, I mean, if you go to like Hot Topic or Target, usually you're paying $11 for a Funko. So to get five for 35, why not? Right. So that's kind of what happened. And also from Target this morning, uh, did you buy that wave for, that was uh, from the Fan Fest wave of Star Wars figures? Was it the, uh, I honestly can't remember. I, I... Oscar Reeves. So oh yes, I, I bought the whole I bought the whole wave uh, from my, one of the one of the places that sells full wave, Entertainment Earth or Big Bad Toy Store. I bought the full wave. <laughs> so, so originally, I bought the full wave on actually on Amazon and Target just because whoever ships first, you know, they you can both cancel. So this morning, because of the twenty percent off sale, I was able to cancel my General Lando, Orsing, and the Q90, and then rebuy them for fifteen ninety nine. So, perfect i missed that i missed that entirely yeah that was i mean <laughs> even on the i mean you were probably i don't know if you were asleep. i was done yeah 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 i mean it was like 5 30 a.m west Coast <laughs> time i just like i said i don't know i go to bed like a baby i go to bed 9 30 but but tech and costco reeves the pre-orders of those two more popular characters they were sold out but at least i was able to save the 12 and uh still hold on to those other two um amazon had some exclusives today but fear not it was just Crosshair and Hunter, and the only difference is there's some white markings on the armor. I don't know. It doesn't really do a whole lot for me, and, and it comes with a pin. But I'm not going to pay $7 extra from the target price for $14.99 just for the damn pin and a little bit of white uh, paint. So then Funko Shop also had an exclusive Vader, a Force Vader, see on the screen. And GameStop had their exclusive. So these are exclusive Funko. GameStop had their exclusive Republic Commando Boss. Eden, is it, am I saying this right? Eden Versio from Battlefront 2? I honestly, I've never heard it <clears throat> out loud. I've always read it. So you yeah. might, your guess is as good as mine. Iden or Eden? Either way. It's, I, I think it's Iden. I think it's Iden. Okay. Iden, uh, yeah, she was the protagonist from Battlefront 2 in the, in the short campaign. And then the bounty hunter Bosk, part of that whole, like, if you get them all, you kind of all fit in a thing. And then the Night Brother looks really cool. It's one of those, yes. if, I, if I see it. But we're going to talk Night Brother right now. Because Hasbro, again, had their Fan First Tuesday on May the 4th special. Let's just get right into it. Why are we here? Black Series, right? Let's Black do it. Series. And the Night Brother Warrior took our hearts. Talk about this one. Instantly. I think, honestly, I don't want to I, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer or anything, but I feel like my uh, intense want for a Savage Opress Black Series figure just made me just grab the nearest yellow Zabrak. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking him. I'll take two of them. Maybe we can customize them. Oh, yeah, that was great. Did you buy? Uh, oh, wait, we haven't bought any yet, right? Not I, yet. I, Tomorrow. I, wait, yeah, that's right. May, May Revenge of the Fifth tomorrow so the uh, it was kind of anticlimactic today we woke up ass o'clock uh west coast eight o'clock eleven o'clock and then after it's done they're like oh well yeah everything's going on sale tomorrow and they're like great what a, you know like i'm i might be working tomorrow i don't even know so who knows what's going on with that but yeah these are part of the gaming greats line of course these are gamestop exclusives but usually we don't have too many issues i think night brother warrior would be tough because it's an army builder but if you're if you Order it right away, you shouldn't have to worry about bots. But if you wait more than an hour or two, you might be asked out. There was also a flame trooper, another army builder. Um, and yeah, these are both from the game. So, you know, it, it's pretty cool. It's a, they definitely made a um, new advancements, new additions, a different cosmetic, but still a flame trooper. It's like, eh, you know, you don't, <laughs> you don't need it, but you know, you're gonna get it anyway, right? I, and uh, yeah, then they also teased the Bad Batch Omega. Um, I see that warm and peg. Sorry. I just, it I, might, it might. I honestly think yeah. uh, when it comes to star Wars people, they kind of, they kind of shun the Q characters in the beginning. They, it, it's when she gets all the character development that they'll be coming back. And then the, the peg warmer will be worth $200. So yeah. who knows? Maybe you should pick it up anyway. I, well, I'm going to get it anyway, just cause I'm a completionist. As you can see, I mean, I'm all pretty much, unless it's like the 17th Luke that I'm like, okay, <laughs> There's a, there's a certain amount of number of <laughs> boots 
and Leia's I will buy. If Understood. I each of the movies, I won't buy all three from each of the movies. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think Omega is going to be one of these characters that's cutesy. And then by the end of the Bad Batch, like you just said, I love that you brought up a great point. It's going to be the most badass character of all. And who knows, maybe it'll be some kind of weird, like it come to find out it's a Jedi. Clone yeah. <laughs> going to be the ultimate thing so yeah get the little cute one for now because like you said you can always flip it in the end and then also revealed today was the clone shock trooper which in the beginning i was like why do we need an it looks like an infernal squad trooper but then we watched the bad batch and then we're like okay we need a hundred of these <laughs> yes so, sir well, i only need one but a lot of you will need a hundred and then there was uh louisiana from last uh. night. it is not the shock trooper, sorry, everyone. I'm hurt. It is Vice Admiral Admiral Rampart. They're both Walmart exclusives. So Louisiana is the boring uh, human character, uh, you know, the Emperor Admiral, and uh, they both go on sale. By the time you watch this, you'll probably they'll probably already be sold out. Or whatever. Was he announced as a Bad Batch character? I might have missed that. Yes, yes. Bad okay, Batch, but uh, didn't see it. We him. haven't met him yet. He does come with a little mousy droid. If you've been waiting for that, I'm not sure. <laughs> they are extra five bucks. So $24.99. All right, we'll go through the. We're not. We're not uh, vintage collection shoppers, but uh, we will go through them quickly for those who are. Uh, the one that really ap appealed to me, and I'm like, why isn't? Hey, look, most of the time, Black Series, we get our stuff like six months to a year ahead. So we have. I yeah. mean, like for instance, uh, Endor. Uh, you know, Luke, it's like, we've had that for a while, but, and, uh, you know, and then Tebow was also out for Re return of the Jedi Ewok, part of that package from, uh, fan fest con, but pulse con, I should say, and that should be coming out winter 21, but the Republic trooper from KOTOR man, that one is like, why is it three and three fourths? And that comes out in the spring. That one, the fan vote. What do you think about that? Uh, Republic trooper. I mean, I think the Republic Trooper looks cool and everything, but I was, I had my, I, I, when I heard the vote and I don't normally collect TVC, but when I saw they had Starkiller in there, I was like, man, I'm going to vote real quick and see what happens. And of course I got let down. So that was my, that was my uh, door closing on TVC. It's okay. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So you would have bought the, the I would have bought, I would have bought the star killer. Oh yeah. Oh, you're a force unleashed fan. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> they opened up the whole show with uh, the rainbow Boba Fett, the prototype also on tomorrow target exclusive. People are upset. I'm a huge Boba Fett fan, and I don't care about this. It's a rainbow. I guess the whole like the origins of Lucasfilm and the prototype. I guess yeah. like, there's, there's a lot of meaning and you know all that, but it's like ah, it looks stupid. It just looks it's stupid. it's weird because normally with something like that and, and and the idea of like meaning behind it, it's like it certainly means something if you have the original prototype. You know, like I don't care particularly about the fake prototypes like unless it's like white boba fett black series or whatever you know yeah. this weird non-colored almost unfinished looking thing i guess it appeals to uh, people who are into the behind the scenes stuff when it comes to this uh game of ours yeah no i just yeah i mean people will just buy anything star wars right Let's that's also that <laughs> uh, and then more tvc was the clone trooper echo it's got a removable helmet also available may 5th and then as i mentioned ewok tebow lucasfilm did their 50th and i mentioned endor luke and the, and then also this one's actually really cool and uh i really wish this was six inch too the death star droid i want your opinion on that one I'm actually having the trouble placing it and uh, uh, placing it. I think I might have checked out <laughs> during the TVC segment. There was some, there was some stuff there. I wasn't interested. The Death Star droid. Uh, give me, give me a, give me a quick. Well, the picture will be on the screen now. You people. Yeah, it'll be on the screen. <laughs> hey, if you don't have an opinion. I'm just, it's a funny one anyway. So all good with that. Now here's one I'm kind of conflicted about because they they released uh, just like they talked about the off world Jawas in the beginning. It's got the soft goods robe. The Mudhorn Egg, which is hilarious. And uh, as we know, the off-world Jawa captain comes with the Razor Crest. Of course, I invested in that despite not being a TVC person. So now there's Tuscan Raiders. And now the Razor Crest is destroyed. So the picture you see on the screen 
they destroyed it to the best of their ability without destroying it because they want people to pay their four hundred. Well, they already paid. We already paid the Haslab four hundred dollars, but they want people to enjoy it. So they've got all the panels all on the ground, and the Jawas are helping out. And I'd be like, some Tuscan Raiders would look good there. I was like, that's a cool diorama scene right there. I was like, okay, it kind of makes up for like, oh, all right, this thing that's blown up that we're kind of upset that we're paying four hundred dollars for. Now it kind of it's kind of cool because now they're like repairing the thing. You know, so I'm kind of, I don't know, should I get some Raiders and Jawas? We'll have to see you tomorrow. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. And one last thing before we give our overall grade for the Hasbro Fan Fest. John, you bought something else, a role play item, a black suit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, talk, talk about it. Now, let's, let, let me be perfectly honest. In, in, in all actuality, it's a repainted Boba Fett helmet. Now, that being said, uh, I'm all I'm all about the Death Watch Mandalorians. Ever since Clone Wars, I've been down for them. So if they're gonna put out a little bit of merch for some Death Watch guys, I'm on it. I, I like the weathered look on this new Death Watch Mandalorian role play helmet, which uh, that's what we're talking about here. In case I forgot to mention that, uh, and uh, it just I know it's a Boba Fett repaint, but uh, in my mind. It's like, okay, I can, it looks different enough that I can justify uh, putting it next to my Din Djarin uh, role play helmet, which I actually don't own a Boba Fett helmet. So that would help in my decision in buying this, but uh, I do already own Din Djarin. So it would have had to be really different. Yeah. And then the for me to buy another, basically another head to put on a shelf, you know? Yeah, no, exactly. I got the Boba yep. Fett helmet, so it was an easy pass for me, but it, uh, the color scheme is gorgeous. So, and uh, it, it, I've gotten a lot of uh, a lot of bang for the buck on that Mando helmet, so uh, definitely a look out for the Nightwatch one. It's a GameStop exclusive, which which was, I was like, I didn't know they, uh, I didn't think they'd do that. <laughs> nice. Hey, did you get these? One, do like a quick plunder here while we're at it. Yes, mine is actually on the way, and it. I'll say this: uh, when I first ordered it, I was just like, "Okay, another trooper." After I've watched the first episode, I'm like, "Okay, I'm down." Yeah. Is that hunter? Yes, sir. I got my hunter. Yeah, I've. Uh, yeah. I had. I wish I had him right next to me. <laughs> hey, shout out to Amazon who absolutely destroyed my Shawn Michaels. Oh Rumble. no! No, like months ago, but then pristine pack. Okay. Fun. Perfect. Here, I'm saying so. Great job, guys. Like, all right, cool. I got some. I'm so happy to have this in hand when I just saw the episode. So, 100%. I definitely also grabbed it on that little Amazon sneak drop. They had it for like 20 bucks. I was like, in there. They had that and uh, Bo Katan, who yeah, finally yeah. arrived. Right. And I can't believe they were already shipping that too, as well. Instantly, That's too. Very crazy. Uh, overall, we're not doing Biblios anymore, no Bibles. <laughs> But whiskeys, what's your overall whiskey score for the Hasbro Fan Fest, May the 4th, whatever the... Being a Black Series collector, I know you TVC guys got to eat this time, but being a Black Series collector, I'm going to give it three three whiskeys out of five. Whoa! Because because I bought three items. You know, I'm talking all this garbage, but then I bought a freaking $100 helmet and two figures. So, like, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm going to go two whiskeys because it was, uh, you know, I, I, I respect what they're doing, TBC, but half the stuff is late. Half the stuff is cool. And then Black Series definitely got the shot besides the Night Warrior and a couple, you know, a couple of troopers. It's like, whatever. So, yeah, really kind of. And, and they told us, the you know, the Twitter influencers and everything, the toy influencers were like, temper your expectations. Like, chill out. It's May the 4th, but chill out. And we're like, no way. This is going to be the... We're going to get the whole Mandalorian new, new wave from season two. And I, yeah, we didn't get anything. I was so, mostly uh, waiting for the freaking Target exclusive Clone Wars figures. I don't know when those are coming now. Now I'm scared. Yeah, now we got to look at our phone to make sure. <laughs> that, uh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be looking at... Yeah, so the, those are cool. See, we talked about those on the last episode or, or the one before Marvel uh, Legends episode. But yeah, we got those. So hopefully those will be coming in pretty soon. But man, this was a pleasure. Jonathan, just before we go, any uh, plug-ins, shout-outs, anything you want to say? Well, if you're a wrestling fan, definitely go check out Dershey Radio. It's a weekly wrestling podcast to talk about the latest wrestling news and rumors. And then there's always the Major Issues podcast where I'm always talking about comic book stuff. So that stuff's out there. <laughs> awesome. And dude, right when this is over, I forgot. I got to watch Osprey. 
Versus oh Kane. man, I've dude! Seen Have you seen it? It's amazing. Okay. It's it's ten stars out of five. Oh I'm breaking God. the scale. I'm breaking the both. scale. You, you might be the only person who's into wrestling more than me that I know. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it's May the 4th. Sorry, but I got a lot of wrestling stuff to watch because, you know, we always get dark on Tuesdays. We've got the Annie Docs. Uh, I got to finish the Roddy Piper one, the Macho Man one's up. And I got New Japan, that show, yes. Dantaku to watch. Sorry, I don't know. I think I Bad Batch might be it. But tomorrow's replacement. <laughs> I might come back with a vengeance and just watch a lot of Clone Wars because that's I, I've been meaning to rewatch it. Oh man, you're gonna have fun with that. Bro, it's been a pleasure. Let's do another one. Hopefully soon, maybe a wrestling show or something. So thanks for joining us and may of the, course may the fourth be.